Do you want to develop consistent good habits like reading, going to the gym every day, learning new languages, or practicing new instruments? Or do you want to kick bad habits like eating unhealthy food, biting your nails, watching too much TV? Three years from now, you can have what you need. You got to be careful about it. You can't have everything. You can have what would be good for you, but you have to figure out what it is, and then you have to aim at it. We know that sometimes you can be uncomfortable, but you can be uncomfortable and hopeful rather than uncomfortable and fearful. People go through their lives without knowing what it is they want to do. You don't have to be where you think you want to be in order to be happy. You just got to be on the way to where you want to be in order to be happy. You are going to get what you're looking for. So if you're looking for success, you're looking for happiness, you're looking for prospects, you're looking for recruits or clients, I'm telling you, the more you're consciously looking for those things, you're going to see them. When you're looking to win, you're looking for victory. Sit on your bed one day and ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? And if you actually ask that question, but you have to want to know the answer, right? Because that's actually what asking the question means. It doesn't mean just mouthing the words. It means you have to decide that you want to know. And so be very careful what you set your mind towards, what your outcomes are, because you're going to find them. Your mind's powerful. You're powerful. You're more powerful than you think you are. And if you could just get clear on what you're looking for, get super specific with great clarity, great specificity about what it is you want, it's sitting there for you to find if you look for it. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. Right there and then, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go, not in the direction that they're telling you to go. In other words, you can literally choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. If you're fearful all the time, your point of attraction is very far from what you really want. If you're ornery all the time or a lot of the time, your point of attraction is different from what you want. Your emotions are your indicator of what you're doing vibrationally. You've been listening to us long enough to sort of understand what we mean by that. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Think about who you have to be in order to get it done. Did you ever have a dream that was so big that you thought it was almost impossible to achieve? I've had those dreams. And while not every dream has become a reality, along the way I learned a powerful approach of picturing that has helped me achieve most. Since that day I've had other dreams, other big dreams, and in each case I would picture where I wanted to be and I would visualize what I would be doing and who I would be doing with when I got there. As the saying goes, you can't make a basket if you never take the shot. I knew I would miss the shot sometimes and the failure would dampen my spirit, but I would be better off for my efforts and I would be okay. People are addicted to all kinds of things, substances, uh, but one of the greatest addictions or one of the greatest addiction never actually, you never read about it in the papers because the people who are addicted to it don't know it. It's the addiction to thinking. It's actually addictive. Can't stop thinking, it's like can't stop drinking, can't stop smoking, can't stop eating, can't stop thinking. You have the option of taking it hard or taking it easy, of making the worst of it or making the best of it, of giving it your undivided attention, of giving it very little of your attention. You have more control over your focus than most of you have been exercising. And when you begin caring about how you feel more than everything else put together, so that you exercise your ability to focus upon things that do feel good, you begin to discover that in every particle of the universe there is that which is wanted and lack of it. 
my visualization has helped me achieve most of my goals. And what I learned along the way is it didn't take twice as much effort. It only took an extra 10%. When we fail, life continues as it is. We can stay in our comfort zone. Success, on the other hand, challenges us. It pushes us and it exposes us to rejection. How are we going to manage this new success? If you're not happy, you're not successful. If you're not enjoying yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve, there's a problem. To me, the biggest disease on this planet is unhappiness. And the reason why people are unhappy is because we have a tendency to keep focusing, as I said, on what we don't have and what's, what's not working in our lives, instead of allowing ourselves to shift our focus and our way of thinking. People always want to be like, follow your dreams, follow your dreams, follow your dreams. I, I, my dream was always to be a rap artist, right? But I had to get a job, so I had to focus on my job. And then I made money to follow my dream. One of the main reasons that people don't get what they want is because they don't actually figure out what it is. And the probability that you're going to get what would be good for you, let's say, which would even be better than what you want, right? Because, you know, you might be wrong about what you want easily. But maybe you could get what would really be good for you. You have the freedom to think anything you want you were born extremely confident. You came into this world knowing how wonderful you are. So choose new thoughts to think about yourself and choose new words to tell yourself how magnificent you are and that you deserve all the good that life has to offer. First thing in the morning and last thing in the evening, I want you to look into your eyes and say, I love you. I really love you. Your first goal, this is what I'm suggesting, your first goal when you open up your eyes should be to focus on the things that ignite your spirit and bring you joy. I want you to focus on the things that you appreciate in your life, the things that you're grateful for. I don't care who it is or what it is. Maybe it's the person lying next to you. Maybe you're thinking of your children. Maybe you're thinking of the dog or the cat lying by the side of the bed. A particular goal that you achieved. Maybe there's an event coming up on the weekend. Maybe. Maybe you're meeting with your friends for lunch. You see, folks, it doesn't matter who it is or what it is. There's always something to be grateful for, to appreciate. And what I'm asking you to do in those few moments before you crank and get into your day is to focus on these things. Now, why am I asking you to do this? Because an attitude of gratitude simply makes you feel good. And feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. We've all made wrong choices, done things that we knew were not the best. It's one thing when other people do us wrong. We had a bad break. It wasn't our fault. We can have faith that God will restore. He'll pay us back. But when we bring the trouble on ourselves, when we blow it, it's easy to live in regrets thinking that God's not going to help us. We made the mess. But here's the beauty. God knew you would mess up before He called you. He knew we would get off course, at times give in to temptation. He didn't base His plan for your life on you making perfect decisions. Through success, I represent the possibility of what you can achieve and what you can do with your life and your career. Other people's success represents the possibility of what you can do. Those are the records that you can sell. Those are the type of tours that you can do. Those are the kind of songs that you can produce and the songs that you can write. Those are the millions of dollars that you can get or billions. Those are the type of architectural drawings and buildings that you can build. Those are the type of books that you can sell. Everybody else's success represents the possibility of what you can do.